However, in college, Saturday's Wake Forest win over Duke, getting the Demon Deacons closer to an NCAA tournament bid, was overshadowed by Wake fans storming the court. Duke star Kyle Filipowski hobbled and helped off the court following a collision with a fan. You can see it right there. Here's Duke's head coach, John Shire, postgame. It's disappointed we lost. Uh, but look, for me, it's I'm more concerned about the, the well-being of our guys, you know, flip, sprains his ankle. When are we going to ban court storming? Like, when are we going to ban that? Like, how many times does a player have to get into something where they get punched or they get pushed or they get taunted right in their face? And it, it's a dangerous thing. I absolutely feel like it was personal, um, um, you know, intentional for sure. You know, like I said, was, there's, there's no reason where they see a big guy like me trying to work my way out the court and they, they can't just work around me, you know, there's no excuse for that. All right, on that note, we welcome in our Jay Billis. Jay, good morning. Thank you so much for being with us. And Jay, want to dive right in here. Tell me this. Why do you feel so strongly that it's time to do away with the fan storm in the court? Well, Molly, it's not that I feel strongly that it's time. It's been time for a long time. Uh, and we, we actually discussed this a few weeks ago on College Game Day, uh, and my thing wasn't necessarily banned court storming. It was just the idea that fans don't belong on the court ever, and players don't belong in the stands. It, it's a pretty simple proposition. But, you know, the NCAA and the member institutions will say the player safety is number one. There's nothing more important than player well-being. But uh, that's simply not true because they're continuing to allow this. And in fact, they're encouraging it. And the truth is, we're encouraging it in the media. We put court stormings at the end of every highlight when there's an upset. We're encouraging it. And even though it's banned in the SEC and they have to pay a $100,000 fine on the first offense and then it goes up to $250,000 or five hundred, dollars whatever it is, uh, the institutions are happy to pay it because they like the visual. They like having that to take pictures of it, to show it. Here's how passionate we are and here's what we're about, that kind of stuff. And it, it just didn't you know, take uh, a genius to say that, that something's going to happen. And when it does, let's not act surprised. This is not only foreseeable, it's inevitable. And we've had significant injuries over this in the past to, to fans especially and nothing really changes. And But the truth is, nothing's gonna change now. We're gonna talk about it, and it's gonna go away, and nothing's going to change. And if they wanted to stop it, they could stop it tomorrow. Uh, the, the, the administrators will tell you that uh, security experts tell them that it's not, it's not a good idea to try to stop the court storming, that that could cause more problems than it would solve. But you don't have to stop the court storming. One time, all you have to do is once they're on the court, don't let them off. Just just say you're all detained and give them all citations or arrest them if you want to. And then court stormings will stop the next day. Um, there's no accountability for this. It, 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 the fans feel like it's an entitlement and the universities like it. And the truth is, we like it. Now, one last thing on this. Years ago, when when fans would run out on the field or on the court during a game, it was it was network policy not to show that because we didn't want to encourage it. So what does that say about the way we in the media use these images now? We, we can't deny that we encourage it, or at least tacitly approve of it. And uh, everybody has to accept some responsibility for this. It, I don't think it's the right thing to allow this, but I know that it's going to continue. This is not going to stop. Jay, I wish I could disagree with you, but I can't. I think it's run its course also. And like you said, the visual of the fans and they 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 sell that to the, the incoming students and uh, students and they sell that to the athletes. This is how passionate our fan base is. And some people have gotten hurt. We saw Caitlin Clark. Well, now we see Flip, the, the Duke senior, talented uh, uh, center, not senior, talented center. What What's it really going to take? Because I remember when they used to, uh, the, Jay and I, uh, Steven, I know you remember this, when streakers used to come on the field and they used to follow them all around the camera. Well, they stopped doing that. And, they, and people don't streak nearly as much as they once did. This is dangerous. I mean, you, you talk, and I get it, they're kids. But so are the athletes on the court. Y'all make it seem like those are professionals. They're kids also. And the, kid, uh, the kids on the court always have to re refrain and stay in, oh, you're an athlete you're held to a higher sta standard than the student body that's running on there. Their emotions are high. When you lose, especially when you put into it like these college kids, it's, it's tough. 
And, 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 yeah, maybe he just has a sprained ankle, and I hope that's all it is, and I hope it's nothing serious, and I hope he doesn't lose any time. But it's time. I mean, look, I understand there have been a lot of traditions that schools go back 50, 100 years, but it's, it's time to outlaw some of these. And I think uh, uh, storming the court, storming the field, I think it's time to do away with all of that. Let's transpire. Let's go to the pro level. Money! Because you know why? Because you're going to have people, you're going to have security that you pay, all right? And the security there, they, these are off-duty police officers and then some. These ain't senior citizens who are in their 60s and 70s who are retired, but they got a job at some arena or whatever, and they play a role, and you call that security. No, it's real security up at these NBA games, and you got to think twice before you think about doing certain things of a physical nature because so much money is at stake. These players make so much money mm -hmm. for the league, et cetera, et cetera. They're protecting the investment. We don't hear about universities doing that. Why? Because they don't want to spend money. How do we know that? Because it's been like pulling teeth for decades to get them to spend money <laughs> when it comes to anything that the involves athletes. the students. You Absolutely. know this better than any of us, Jay Billis. And so we can't ignore that reality. And I bring all of that up to say this. Again, it's run its course. But let's talk about different ways of modifying the situation in case you don't stop this. You could have security surrounding the team, the visiting team. In more instances than not, the, the home team is celebrating. These are guys that are walking around campus. These are guys that want to be the big man on campus. When they're successful, the fans are celebrating with them. It's the visiting team that you have to worry about most of all. Not to say there aren't incidences where you got to worry about the home team as well. But primarily, it's the visiting team. Surround them. And surround them with real bona fide security. Make sure you do that and facilitate them getting off the court. And you could delay these cheap ropes that you're using. That ain't going to work. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? You got to surround You got to surround them with, 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 again, real security, folks. They're not going to do it because they don't want to spend the money. That's what this really, really comes down to. And that's all I wanted to say about it. Yeah, I think Stephen A. and, and Shannon and Molly, I, I think what the schools really want is they want it both ways. They want to say, well, we want the visual. We want to show the excitement. And then, but but player safety is important, but clearly it's not number one. And it, it what it does to me is ignores the fact that fans don't belong on the court or on the field ever. And players don't belong in the stands. I just don't think that's a difficult thing to wrap your head around. And the NFL... Like, I go back to what you said, Stephen. I was thinking the exact same thing about the Boston Celtics when they were playing the Lakers. And Larry Bird was knocking people out to try to get That's out right. of there. That's and right. it, yeah. when the New York Yankees in the late 70s were, were really winning Reggie championships Jackson. and doing well. Reggie Jackson. It was Reggie Jackson and Chris That's Chambliss right. was knocking Chris people Chambliss. out trying to get back right. to the dugout. Yeah. And we, we don't, look, we shouldn't have that kind of thing now. And look, I'm not saying that fans are coming out with the intent to cause mayhem. But you cannot control a stampede like you think yeah. you can. And I was there for that thing you're talking about, Stephen A., where the, the person in the wheelchair at NC State was in harm's way. We, 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 we can argue that, hey, well, why was that person out there? Why was this happening? Or why did Filipowski put his arms up? We showed that thing with Filipowski in slow motion. That didn't happen to him in slow motion. He's got to have the right to protect himself. Like, how, how do you expect people to react in that situation? And when something else happens, and it will, we'll act yeah. surprised. And then we'll say we have to do something. But it's going to have to be a, a, a catastrophe that happens in a really high-profile game uh, for us to do anything. And, and I just don't believe they're going to do anything. They like the visual but, too much, and the truth is we like it too much. We're not but, doing it. But, Jay, as far as the visual, to your point, I mean, it doesn't get much more high profile than Caitlin Clark and Kyle Filipowski. We want to see them on the court, the NCAA tournament. I feel like that should be enough in itself, that both of them have gotten injured through court storming this season. I mean, those are major stars in college basketball. Yeah, you know, all these things, Molly, that we're talking about should be number one, but they're not. And it's going to take an injury to a high profile player for people to get more sanguine about this. Um, look, I, I, when, when we brought this up a couple of weeks ago, three weeks ago on College Game Day, I think it was after the Caitlin Clark incident. And I just said, look, fans don't belong on the court. 
And uh, the reaction was, you know, old man yells at clouds and get off my lawn stuff. <laughs> and I get that. Like, who doesn't love the excitement of it? I love excitement. But when North Carolina beat Duke earlier this year in Chapel Hill, they didn't rush the court. They went out to Franklin Street and partied. The players went out and did it, too. Like, it's not part of the game. It's something that's happening after the game. And when the NFL and NBA and Major League Baseball, they all ban that stuff and it never happens again. It's not like the popularity of their game took a hit. Nobody bought They're not selling less tickets. Ratings aren't going down. That visual isn't necessary. But these colleges recruit. And they want that visual for recruiting. Look what you get. Look at the excitement you're coming yeah. to. They they love it, and they're addicted to it. And and frankly, this incident isn't enough to change anyone's minds. They'll just say, well, we need to have rope off the players so they can have their handshake line and get out of there, and then then it's a free-for-all. They can't control a free-for-all. And uh, and somebody said, He'll put a shot clock in so 30 seconds after the game you can storm it. That, none of that makes yeah. any sense. No, they just should protect it. the players. It's, it's useless. Especially in today's world, you have to protect the players. <laughs> and, you, and you want the stars on the court. That's, that's paramount.